Hello everyone, this is Ron from Ron's Drone and RC Channel. Uh, I got an update today on a new product from uh, Parrot. I mean, is it a new product? Just on um, Monday, September 2nd, which is Labor Day here in the U.S., um, a national holiday, uh, Parrot announced a new product called the Parrot FPV Pack. Uh, it comes with uh, goggles so you can fly, uh, fly the drone via you know, FPV, just looking through the goggles. So, um, um, you know, we, we, you know, they had details on the website and um, it kind of didn't look like much was different except that it had the goggles and, and some new modes. So then um, the second piece of the puzzle fell on a Tuesday morning. It seemed like uh, the update uh, in the iOS App Store was available for the, um, let me look at my notes here, for the Free Flight 6.6 .6 app. The app you use to control the Anafi uh, got an update. And also the drone itself got uh, two firmware updates. The drone got 1.5.6 firmware update and the controller got the 1.61 uh, firmware update. Now when all this, you know, got updated, I opened up the uh, Free Flight app um, and much to my surprise, there are many new features there, including an FPV feature. So I, I think that, um, again, this is just, you know, my my, uh, my own personal opinion here. It doesn't look like the um, Anafi drone itself got a, a physical update to it. It just looks like uh, it's all software update. And they came out with a pair of goggles. Now, these goggles look like the same goggles that people use with the... Um, the Bebop, Parrot Bebop, and even the Parrot uh, Mambo, but they're not. They're uh, version 3 of these goggles, and uh, you have to have this particular set of goggles to work with um, the Anafi, according to what I've read. Um, I don't have the product in my hand. I haven't tested it. This is just what I've read on the internet. Not everything I read came from uh, Parrot Anafi's website, so it may not all be 100% uh, reliable. Um, but... Um, as of right now, you cannot purchase these um, goggles uh, separately uh, from, uh, you know, from the drone. So you have to buy the whole uh, kit to get these goggles as of the present time. But maybe they will be sold separately at a, you know, a future update. Uh, it's hard to get a price, but it seems like this new uh, uh, FPV pack is going to retail for $7.99. But uh, again, I'm, I'm not positive of that price. And the normal... Um, Enough. He retails for six ninety nine on, on most, you know, of the uh, parrot websites links. So I, I think the goggles are again about a hundred dollars. Uh, so uh, what I did is I did a screen recording of me working my way through the Free Flight app to show you all the new uh, features and modes that were added. So um, let's uh, let's run through that real quick so you can see what you get when you do all the firm updates. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're going to walk you through the, uh, the the updates to the Free Flight app. Okay, we're going to start on the bottom left-hand corner under presets. So we have film, which has always been here, uh, sport, which has always been here, cinematic, which is new. Uh, we didn't have that before, so um, we, that's new. Okay, then next is racing, which of course is new. Um, classic, which you can't really even tap. I think you have to be in the air before you can activate these other ones here. Um, there's also Arcade, uh, take off to activate Arcade. And I'm um, trying to, and, and Art Racing and Classic are highlighted together at the same time. So again, once we take off to go in Arcade mode. So I believe anything, anything right as cinematic, you need to be in the air before you can uh, actually activate these modes. So, um, that's about uh, all I can say at this point. Um, but of course, you can use cinematic without taking off, which um, that's nice. I don't know how much uh, different uh, cinematic will be in film mode, but uh, I will test that out soon in, in my next test flight out. So um, again, it looks like from racing on, on to the right there, these modes you have to take off to um, actually uh, activate them and uh, then use them. So. Um, Quite a few additions to uh, the presets mode here, which uh, it's very nice. Okay, now we're over to the um, piling mode. You have manual flight, which has always been there. 
Uh, but this is new. This is the uh, FPV uh, mode, um, which of course is brand new. It splits the screen in half for, for the goggles, and you can see some of the controls you can see on your uh, heads up uh, to towards the top of the screen. So um, that's, that's a big ad right there. Um, okay, now we're back to the uh, main screen again. And uh, you know, the flight plan was always there. And, you know, I can't remember if touch and fly was always there or not. Um, maybe somebody can leave in the comments whether that's uh, something that was new or that's been there. Again, uh, I never used it before. So, um, and again, cameraman follow me, smart journeys, they were always there. Now, under the uh, cine shots, uh, these have to be, uh, you have to be in the air to activate them. None of them had changed. They had all been there before. But why they were grayed out is you have to be flying to uh, activate them. So, um, and now we're moving over to the uh, the video settings to see if anything changed here. Standard, uh, cinema, hyperlapse, slow motion, high frame rate, they were all there before. Nothing is new in that panel of menus right there and uh here we go none of these options have changed here all this stuff was um was here before um you know moved over to pro again you could uh, frame rates you know, ios white balance ev style uh 4k 30 it was all there before so there's there's nothing new here so now we're going to go up to the um the preferences and this is uh, different here I mean a different layout at least the uh, classic was always there but they added an arcade up at the top on the right and these option modes inverse joys and special EV trigger I, I believe that's new it's either new or they have reformatted that it looks different so um, it looks like this whole preference area is uh, definitely laid out a little bit different uh, this go around okay here's our preferences for film uh, sport, uh, which kind of look the same as they did before, but what they've added here, uh, well, we're going over sport now. They never had a cinematic before, so now you can customize the cinematic mode too, which is which is nice. Um, you know, things like camera tilt. Um, I don't know exactly what glo global reactivity means. There's rotation, um, bank turn. What what happens if you bank a turn? Vertical speed. Um, so some of the same things that you had in the other modes. And racing, it has its own preference panel too. So um, you know, these are all kind of the presets here. But as you can see, you can reset all these preferences or you could change them to customize them to whatever best suits your needs and your flying style. So um, again, it's got a big re redesign here but uh, and some additions. So um, let's move on to the next one um, in the interface here. Um, it's kind of got, it looks like it got a little bit of a redesign. Uh, safety, uh, this was always there too. Um, it looks basically the same. Um, you know, we can turn off the geofencing and you can change your uh, return to home altitude. And here's the, here's your camera settings. Um, this basically looks the same, but I think this got a little redesign too. So um, everything kind of got spruced up in there. So, um, I hope that covers uh, some of your questions here. Um, I'm going to do some follow-up, some test flight, and, and, and test out some of these new features with the drone in the air. So, um, you know, uh, say, you know, uh, like and uh, you know, uh, like this video, and subscribe to the channel for more you know, Anafi, uh, you know, uh, updates and test flights and so on. So, uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.